A warning tonight from a community group after a triple shooting last night during a celebration of life event. It marks the second one in Jacksonville within the last month. Three people were injured in last night's shooting near 4th Street. Witnesses say two gunmen opened fire into a crowd of people. Police are still looking for the shooters. News for Jackson reporter Jim Pickett live at the sheriff's office with where the investigation stands and who is sending this warning. Jim? You know, that is a warning that's coming from Mad Dads today, and they say a similar situation happened about, as you had mentioned, about a month ago. And that is their concern on that. And, of course, we've been trying to talk to the Sheriff's Department about this, and really they're saying well, the shooting from last night, it's just too soon to really talk about the ideas and everything that could be behind all of this. But they have turned this over to the gang unit. With Sky 4, you can see the scene just after the shooting yesterday. It was around 5 in the afternoon when the shots rang out. We're told nearly 100 people were gathered at a celebration of life ceremony near 4th Street and campus that's in northwest Jacksonville. Three people were hit by gunfire, one a juvenile. The injuries, we're told, are not life-threatening. Now, witnesses told police that two people showed up and fired multiple times. It was just a month ago, another shooting took place during a similar service in the Moncrief Park area, also in northwest Jacksonville. That was for a teen who was shot and killed a week earlier. At the service, neighbors say a suspicious car was driving in the area, and then a woman attending the event was shot in the arm. Now that shooting prompted the first warning from Mad Dads about these services for crime victims. And today, A.J. Jordan from that group says the latest shooting is not a surprise. What's going on? That was definitely a message of uh, uh, intimidation, retaliation, uh, for them to come up to a celebration of life like that and just start shooting at 100 people. Yeah, that's, they were sending a message. What should people do then? Not attend funerals? What? What? What do you? In your opinion, and I mean, I know. I mean, do you think we need to make some changes or what? I think if families, friends want to celebrate their loved one's life that's been lost to senseless violence in our city, they should reach out to Mad Dads. They should reach out to us because we have the resources, we have the relationship with JSO, and we can get officers out there. You know, again, I did reach out to the sheriff today, wanting to see if he would talk to us about this. There's a lot of concern around these types of shootings. No comment yet from the sheriff. And also on this, as I'd mentioned, the gang unit is looking into this. We're live at the sheriff's department, Jim Pigott, Channel 4, The Local Station.